Hi friends, this is Dr. Anuj and uh, it was lovely here at the Ojas Parivar and uh, today the world is all about branding. So if you see Lee sells, Gucci sells, Wrangler sells, iPhone sells because these are all brands. So same way in this world, allopathy, modern medicine has become a brand. There is nothing else but people think modern medicine is the way of life. But what I am here experiencing is that why not an integration between natural healing and allopathy? Why just circums get a uh, loophole way of life that only this can work? There cannot be only, there has to be an integration. So somebody asked me what is the difference between allopathic life or what you call as modern medicine and Ayurveda or what you call as a Bhartiya way of life. So a very nice answer that I thought of is that Ayurvedic or Bhartiya life deals with inside out healing. That is, if the soul is happy, the mind becomes happy. If the mind is happy, the senses are happy. And if the senses are happy, automatically the body is happy. In the same way, allopathy deals outside in. It deals with, if the eye has a problem, treat the eye. If there is a bone problem, treat the bone. If there is a problem with the stomach, treat the stomach. But why that problem has arisen, sir, in that human being, that the problem is not answered. So, what we really are looking at is the WHO definition of health also is that it is an integration between body, mind and soul. We need this integration to make ourselves happy individuals as human beings in this wonderful world that we are living in. So if you really analyze a very simple way, this body is made of five elements and nature also has five elements. So it's like earth, water, air, fire and ether. These are the five elements and in the nature also there are these five elements of earth, water, fire, air and ether. So the body becomes diseased if any of these elements in the body goes upside down and that can be easily taken from the nature so it's a very natural balance which can be beautifully maintained by integrating our modern allopathic medicine with this corroborative way of science which has been ancestrally followed in india from time immemorial so I would like to end by just saying that what a great nation we are living in that if you re see the timeline of epidemics all across from 426 BC to 2017 that we are living in right now India has started to get its name in the timeline of epidemics of the world only in 1860 for the first time that the plague epidemic took place because of the unhygienic conditions in which Indians were kept by the British rule and that was the first time the plague epidemic was there other than that India has no name in world epidemics till 1860 what an achievement so I would like to end by saying a very beautiful line and that is development means not having great MRIs not having great CT scans not having big big hospitals but development means to increase the hygiene, increase the health levels of a country to such an extent that hospitals itself are not needed. And we are having a beautiful synonymy between nature and us. And that's what I think is Ojaspar you are giving to us. And we look forward to the increment day after day to the world scenario and to India in a very, very beautiful way because the world is coming to India by the way of yoga, by the way of so many medicines, by the way of Sanskrit. And today we need the world again to come to us via, via, via this beautiful science of health because today the world is looking it to a great health possibility. Thank you Ojas Parivar for giving us a nice life. We look forward to your presence all across in the country. Thank you.